Continuing our discussion on emails from last time, an email has four structural elements, head, greetings, body, and sign off. Head and greetings have been discussed earlier. Let's move on to body and sign off in an email. The body is where the main message is presented. It has three parts, the opening sentence, which states the purpose of the email or response to the ongoing communication, the details, which support the purpose of the email, and the closing sentence, which concludes the email with a polite request for action or an expression of gratitude. Short and well-structured paragraphs will make your email more effective. The sign-off is about the sender. It starts with a valediction, such as regards or sincerely. Then comes the addresser's information, which includes name, designation, organization's name, email address, phone number, and web address. A student should present the registration number in the sign-off when emailing their moderators. This sums up the structural elements of an email. Now, being a student of this hybrid course, you might have some questions related to the lectures, and you may need to email your moderator. After typing your email, wait a minute and follow this quick procedure before you click send. Proofread your email, Carefully check for spelling and grammar, attach necessary files, and make sure your email answers these five questions. Who, what, why, how, and when. To answer who, check if the email is addressed properly. Double check the recipient's name and email address and let the recipients know who you are. Don't forget proper salutations and sign off. To answer what, have an accurate and relevant subject line and clearly explain the purpose of your email and what it is that you want to accomplish. To answer why, state why it is you are approaching the recipients and the incentives or benefits for them. To answer how, briefly explain how will the process unfold or how will the purpose be fulfilled or mention how the recipient can contact you for a response. To answer when, mention the timeline if it applies to the purpose and let the recipient know if and when you will follow up on the matter. After this quick analysis and the required changes, you are ready to send your email. Happy emailing!